Hi folks, uh, Tim here from Iron Sheep Tech, and I had to vent somewhere, so I figured I'd vent right here on my channel. Uh, I had to call someone today and answer some questions to get a certain test done. And they only asked one question at the very beginning, and then they went, Oh, you don't qualify. And I'll tell you what that question was and why. It shows how backwards thinking this small town is right after the intro. Let's get to that first. Okay, folks, I'm back after the intro. So today we're going to talk about uh, me and... <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been having trouble breathing, shortness of breath, coughing, and overall weakness. And a somewhat of a temperature. I'm sitting here freezing still at 76 degrees in the apartment, and I shouldn't be. I got three coats, long sleeve shirt, long sleeve sweatshirt, and a t-shirt. <coughs> <coughs> I had called mass about getting the COVID test earlier in the week to the primary care. And they're like, well, well, we'll ask you a series of questions. And the very first question they ask is, do you know anyone who's traveled overseas recently? And I was like, no. And they're like, well, you don't qualify. And that was that. Ah, call us back if your symptoms get worse. I'm like, like when I'm dead? Oh, thank you. So I call back today. And I'm like, okay, I'm more short of breath. I'm coughing a little more. It actually hurts when I cough now. I'm not coughing on blood, dude. I'm sorry. Well, we'll have to ask you some questions. And they ask me the same damn question again. Do you know you want to step up for what Well, no, you don't qualify. And I'm like, that's it? And they're like, yeah. Obviously. Oh, we don't want to waste our limited short supply of test kits. And I'm like, Okay, so you don't want to waste any test kits. Like, testing somebody and finding out they're negative is a waste. And then, well, I thanked him, and then I, it wasn't for about a half hour, and then I began to stew about it. I began to get pissed. I began to get so angry. And you know why? Because that very question they ask is designed to save their supply of test kits. 99.9999999999% of the people in this little burg have never been outside of town, you know, overseas themselves, obviously. Uh, unless they were in the military. I'm probably one of the few who's been overseas. You know, Spain, Italy, you know, Egypt, Persian Gulf, Japan. Korea, and all in wonderful places, uh, courtesy of the U.S. Navy, but that was years ago. And, you know, obviously the veterans here have been to various places to fight our wars for us. Uh, but what she didn't ask, and had she asked it, I would have had to then asked her, you know, a question. And that question should have been, well, uh, Perhaps you know somebody who's traveled to New York City recently, uh, Louisville, Lyon County, there's a case there, just up the road. Uh, Clarksville, there's a case there. Uh, Fort Campbell, there's two or three cases there. Uh, Nashville, Georgia, Atlanta, uh, Florida, Texas. California or Washington State, because, oh no, I guess you can't catch it from most places. No, that question is designed specifically because everyone's going to say no to it. And they know that, and they'll never have to use one of their precious test kits. And I got so ticked that they don't think outside the box here. It's such narrow-minded frickin' thinking. So I'm going to call either the local radio news station or the television news station and call them and ask them why that's their one qualifier and they eliminate people immediately after that. 
not asking them about those other locations that people could have traveled from, and then asking them that why, why anyone would, and every time they run into somebody they don't know, do we, you, do you usually greet people by going, oh, where have you traveled to recently? No, of course you don't. Especially a stranger. They're probably going to look at you and go, it's none of your damn business. <sighs> One question is designed to save my test kits. And they need to be called out on it. And they need to get their heads out of their ass, think outside the box, and ask about those other locations. And then realize that we don't all greet each other. Maybe we should. In today's world, go, oh, where have you traveled recently? Maybe that's the way to go. And then order some damn test kits. That's all I got for today. Uh, I had to vent somewhere. And by the way, thank your local grocery store workers. They're in there. Refilling the shelves that you idiots are stripping because you think it's the end of the world and you're buying up enough supplies for seven months. Okay? Quit buying all the toilet paper. Quit buying all the potatoes. And quit buying all the bread. I mean, local store here has put limits on those. And I saw somebody try to get away with, well, can I just get two pounds this one time? It's like, no. Did you see the sign? Oh, yeah. Well, what made you think it didn't apply to you? Uh, well, I have a kid. I, I can't. Years. One pound of ground beef. Woo. That's all I got. We'll catch you in the next one.